and today I'm going to be doing a latex allergy related video. It's May and May is Allergy and Asthma Awareness Month so I wanted to make a bunch of videos on my channel this month um, all about latex allergies but I'm also going to be doing a giveaway so stay till the end to hear about that. There will be more information in the description box as well but I wanted to do um, a latex free giveaway of some of my favorite beauty products and some other things so if you're interested in that stay till the end. So today I'm going to be doing like a Q&A style video. On my Instagram throughout the past few years I've asked questions pertaining to latex allergies and so I compiled all of them into this list and I also added one of my own because I think it's a really important question. I've answered all of these questions on my Instagram already um, in my little highlight that's called living latex free but I figured a more in-depth video on them could be beneficial and now they'll all be in the same place so I'm just gonna go ahead and answer all these questions. So the first question on this list is what's the biggest obstacle you've had to face with your allergy? And I'd say that the biggest obstacle for me was just learning how to live with it because it's really hard to find information online about latex allergies allergies and it's really hard to find people who are allergic to latex online. It's not something that's commonly represented or that people come forward about so not only was it hard to find information that I needed it was also hard to find a community of people but you learn how to do it over time. I do so much research and um, now it's just an everyday thing but learning how to live with it is definitely the biggest obstacle. The second question is do you just use vinyl products instead? So vinyl is a good alternative. I know like a lot of people use vinyl gloves instead of latex gloves. Um, so if there is a vinyl um, alternative to a product, I would use that. Question number three is what common objects use latex? So common objects that have latex would be like anything that has a rubber band. So like hair ties, rubber bands themselves, um, and things like that. Also balloons, if they're rubber balloons, they're probably latex based. A lot of medical supplies can be latex based, but also all of these objects have um, latex free alternatives. And if you're interested to find some of those alternatives or see a list um, of objects that commonly have latex, check out my website. It'll be linked in the description. The list on there somewhere that shows like common objects that have latex and a lot of them have links underneath them or next to them for a latex free alternative. I'm always adding links. If you have one that you really like that works for you, leave it in the comments. I'll add it to my site. Question number four is, what if there's no latex free alternative to an essential product? So this one's kind of tricky because almost always you're going to find a latex free alternative that actually will work. Sometimes it's not going to work as well and usually I would say it wouldn't work as well because latex is such a good resource for making things. Um, especially whenever you want it to be stretchy so probably in my face that it's not going to be as like stretchy or like as durable but really it's just about sitting there doing the research and finding it and I guarantee you that every single time you will find one and if there's not even if it's essential I would say it's more essential for you to stay away from it because prolonged exposure is going to make your allergy worse and staying away from it is the only way to keep yourself safe. So even if it's essential for someone who's allergic to latex, I would say it's more detrimental to them than beneficial. So question number five is how did you find out about your latex allergy? And I actually have a whole video on this. I'll put it up here on a little card as well as in the description box below. If you want a more in-depth explanation go check out that video but a little brief summary of it is that um over time i had little reactions but they were so minor that i was like that's normal like it's normal if you put latex on your skin that it's gonna itch a little bit um like we do latex face paint and makeup and stuff and it would itch and it would kind of burn but it was like so subtle that i was like just don't pick at it and it's fine but then as it slowly got worse um when i got bands put on my braces for um to like pull my jaw forward i ended up having a really bad reaction for about a month and then um i went to get my bands changed and everything and my braces tightened and that's when the nurse at my orthodontist um noticed that there was something wrong she actually asked if i was sick because apparently my breath smelled um like it does when you're sick but i guess it just smelled like that because i was having an allergic reaction i don't know but she was like you, you might be having an allergic reaction to the latex bands. Turns out it was, but that had never even crossed my mind because I'd never even thought about that they were even made up of latex. We took them off and then two, three weeks later, my 
reaction cleared up because if it's on my lips like on my gums and everything my reaction tends to last two to three weeks so it was like a two month long reaction in total but in the end we got it fixed i never wore those latex bands again and all was well with the world but that was crazy it was the longest reaction i've ever had and then also as soon as it cleared up i blew up a balloon not thinking and then i had another really long reaction so Start of 2018 had a lot of allergy problems with my mouth, but we figured it out. Question number six, why are you so passionate about this? So I don't talk about my allergy because necessarily like I find it fun. Um, I talk about it because there's not a lot of education around it, at least not that I have found. And whenever I developed my allergy, I was like, I don't know what to do. Like it's in everything. I don't know anyone who has it. I can't find anyone online. I think I found a couple of videos of people with it, but really not really. And it was just really hard to find resources. So I talk about it and I'm so passionate about it because I don't want anyone else to have to go through that. My, my living latex free project is to help people learn to live latex free and also know that while this allergy may change your life, it doesn't have to control it. Um, and it doesn't have to consume your life. I talk about it a lot, yes, but that's because I want to make sure that it's getting some representation. I have a bunch of videos about it, I'll continue making a bunch of videos, because even though it doesn't define me, it's a part of my life, but also just because some people find my videos and they find my website and they reach out to me and they have more questions and then I can help them or they reach out just saying like, oh this helped. And just knowing that it's like helping those few people who are in the same position I'm in and I was in. That's why I'm so passionate about it and that's why I do it, so yeah. <laughs> and I love answering questions because I love educating people on it, so if you ever have any questions, I love answering them, <laughs> so just let me know. But then the last question is, what is latex? So latex is actually a natural rubber that's found from a tree called, um, I'm gonna really not pronounce this right, but I'll put it up on the screen. <laughs> uh, via Brasiliensis tree, I probably said that wrong. Like I said, it's on the screen if you wanna look up how it's actually pronounced, but that's what it is. And then it's also found in aloe vera and specifically aloe bardanzas leaf extract or leaf juice. Um, so any product that has aloe vera in, if you're allergic to latex, I would stay away from. But yeah, that's all the questions I have. So now I'm gonna go into my giveaway and things like that because I thought it'd be really fun to do a latex free giveaway for Allergy and Asthma Awareness Month. Okay, so this giveaway is going to be on my Instagram, which is at underscore Millie Taylor underscore. It's up here on the screen, and I'm sure I'll have it linked in the description box below to like the actual post. So everything in the giveaway is going to be latex free. So the first two products are face mask and makeup, and both of these products will be aloe free, so they'll be latex free. I'm gonna include some cute little stickers for y'all because I love stickers. I have a bath bomb that doesn't have any latex products in it, and then also some latex free scrunchies that I made myself. So if you go and buy a scrunchie, it's gonna have a piece of elastic in it and it, you could have a reaction for put on your wrist. I have latex-free elastic and I went ahead and made um, a couple of scrunchies to add into it. So if you're interested in this like cute little um, latex-free like beauty, um, accessory, whatever giveaway, go enter on my Instagram. All you have to do is um, subscribe to my channel, um, like the Instagram post, and then tag a friend and every tag is an entry. Also, if you wanna do extra entries, you can share the post to your Instagram story and tag me for one extra entry. And also, if you want to subscribe to my website, Living Latex Free, in the description box below, um, if you scroll down all the way to the bottom, you can enter your email and your name and then you can click like become a member. So if you do that, you'll get 10 extra entries into my giveaway. Screenshot it and send me the picture and then also send me the email you signed up with so I can make sure that it went through. And then I will enter you in for 10 extra entries and make sure to send me that picture and your email on Instagram. And again, it's at underscore Millie Taylor underscore. And this giveaway is only for the US. So if you don't live in the US, I'm sorry, I can't afford shipping, that's gonna go super far. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped and go check out the rest of my Living Latex Free series. It'll be up here as well as linked in the description box below. Give this video a thumbs up if you want more latex allergy content comment down below if you have any more questions for me and don't forget to subscribe because i make new videos every single week and i'll see you in the next one bye